VS Code is now in the browser, but what does that even mean for you, for me, and for the developer community? Well, let's get into it. What's up, everyone? If you're new to the channel, I do videos on web development. You should check it out and stick around. But I talk a lot about VS Code. That's actually been my most popular videos are always around VS Code. I have been using VS Code for years. I've got a course on VS Code. I've got a free cheat sheet on VS Code. And I just came across this announcement recently that uh, VS Code is in the browser. And you've probably heard of like, I don't know, like Stack Blitz and like GitHub Code Spaces. And there's kind of lots of different VS Code type things that are in the browser where people can share projects and work on code and, and that sort of stuff. But this is kind of cool because this is like Visual Studio Code directly in the browser. So when I first saw this, um, I was kind of wondering like, what what is the what's the point? What are the most popular use cases for this? And so I wanted to share a couple uh, that I came across. This is actually an original tweet from Chris Sev, who you should totally follow on Twitter and just kind of shared this uh, about VS Code in the browser. And I asked like, what do you think is the most relevant use cases here? So one of the ones that uh, Jaden Baptista mentioned is uh, coding on vacation. Uh, now this is interesting because now you don't have to bring your machine. You can work from cruise ship Wi-Fi on your phone. How practical is it that you're actually gonna write code on your phone? Probably not, but you could. So this is just in the browser. You can access this on any device that has a browser. You can go get it. Now, VS Code is built on Electron, which is using web technologies uh, behind the scenes. So it's not really a, a super big shock here that this works, uh, but it's something that you could do. Um, then someone said that um, Alessandro, Ale, um, speaking for myself, but using it literally months to make changes to the VS Code website, especially those that are not about code like Markdown and JSON files. Now, this is actually pretty interesting. What this looks like it means is you could make some changes without having to actually go to your uh, actual VS Code on your machine, but open it up in the browser and make some simple changes. Sounds like that might be a use case as well of like not writing full-fledged code, but just doing simple changes and, and handling those there because your extensions work in this. So that's important to know. Um, and then someone asked, isn't it technically in the browser because it runs an Electron? Yeah, that's kind of an interesting thing. Here's another one, Chromebooks. Now this is a really good use case uh, because you've got lots of, uh, lots of people out there who can't afford Macs or Windows machines and Chromebooks are the most accessible machines out there. So if you can run VS Code right inside of the browser, that's now a solution for them that they didn't have before. They really wouldn't have had a great way to edit code with a VS Code experience previously. Now they can have VS Code right inside the browser. Someone said, Probably the most relevant is using VS Code in the browser. That's literally the whole point of this. I don't know why they said that. Uh, and then uh, one more from Joe Privet. Uh, biggest use case, not specifically to this, is being able to have one dev environment that's accessible via any browser and any device. So you can share your settings on here. You can share your themes and everything in between. So let's just take a look. If you want to try this out, this is at VS Code dot uh, dev. And I'm going to zoom in here to kind of show it a little bit more. And this looks like your regular VS Code. They've got a link up here to the announcement, which I've got. Uh, I'll have a link to that as well. And if we uh, if we go to extensions, we can start with uh, maybe just searching Cobalt 2 as an extension. Uh, here is the official Cobalt 2 theme. We can go ahead and install this. And uh, now it is our theme and it's working just like VS Code would uh, like on my machine. People ask me about my uh, my VS Code all the time, which is, uh, or my VS Code theme all the time. So here's one of the ones that I use. So that's kind of cool. You can also, you can also send a link <laughs> that includes the extension. If you look inside of this uh, announcement post, let's see extensions, uh, the what the image editor, Luna Paint. Uh, that's kind of cool that that works. GitHub issues. That's kind of cool. Where is Night Now? Okay, so here's a URL that uh, has, uh, it's vscode.dev slash theme slash sdraz dot night owl, another popular theme, night owl. So what you can do is click on this link and you can actually like kind of have extensions attached to the actual link. So if I wanted to send someone like, here's exactly what this looked like, um, it's gonna come ahead, go ahead and get this extension and have that set up here so you can see it. So this is the night owl theme. You can see it's a little bit darker than uh, the Cobalt 2 theme but it still looks pretty nice. You see, you've got multiple editors in here. So if I were moving these files around, just like I would in VS Code, um, I wonder if my, ooh, my Command B buttons for toggling work, that's good. Um, I wonder now Command W, which is usually close file, it's also close tab in Chrome. I wonder if that works. 
Uh, it does not. So that's one of the things to keep in mind too, is sometimes these shortcuts, when you're in the browser, the browser shortcuts override what VS Code would be looking for, but pretty cool. So I can run this right here. I can attach a link or I can attach a, uh, a theme or an extension to a link. Anyway, so I'll have a link to this uh, for you to read through and kind of see what they're what they're talking about here. But there's a couple of different use cases why you might should try it out. I don't know that I'll have a big reason to use this a lot right now, but you can imagine Microsoft and GitHub and VS Code and all these things that are under Microsoft uh, are probably working towards some continually really cool integrations. So keep an eye out for, I don't know, like more features and announcements in the future. I don't have any insider information. I can just imagine that they're working on like tying all this stuff together more and more every single day. So anyway, let me know what you think about VS Code and the browser. Check it out at vscode.dev. Thanks for checking out this video and I'll catch you in the next one.